Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023, and again we repeated, or I should say we repeated for 2024. Today I'm showing this 2011 Suzuki Solio. It's got 97,000 kilometers on it, which is about 52, I'm sorry, reverse that. It's got 92,000 kilometers on it, which is about 57,000 miles, sorry. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come out on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Suzuki Solio is a five-passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about um, $50 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April May time frame, so we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about what you won't have to worry about that until next April or May. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way for rains. It's not gonna get wet inside. More important feature benefit is give it a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep that dash as cool as possible. So you could buy, uh, in addition to the sun visor, you could buy a dash cover. Or if you want to keep it simple, just go ahead and buy yourself a large size bath towel or a beach towel. Something that's lighter in color and put that on the dash as well. The cooler the dash, the easier it is that's going to cool down your car. All right. All right, so let's jump on in. So you see this uh, little uh, metal plate right there. You want to keep that in a safe place because that's going to help you uh, buy new uh, remotes if you lose these. But definitely don't lose these. These are expensive. So foot on the brake. You're going to push this one time. And it goes. Let's sneak this in here. 91,923 on the odometer. Show you a couple of warning lights. That green one up there, that is your temperature gauge. So it's going to be green when the engine's cool. And it's going to remain on that's normal it's going to go away when the engine warms up that's normal and then it's going to be red if it's overheating be on the lookout for that that is not normal okay then down here uh you do have uh the two down here the one on the left is your seatbelt one make sure you wear your seatbelts they do give tickets on and off base and then the circular one is your emergency brake this one is a kick type so when you kick it disengage it goes away kick it engages comes right back on well then that is a very simple straightforward straight ahead instrument cluster and then pops up on a dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? On top of the dash here, you do have a vent that's gonna help bring more air to the back. Then you have your radio. This one does not have a rear camera. Shifter, air conditioning controls, power outlet, little tray here for whatever you need it for, and a cup holder. Remember my finger, you're gonna push it. Don't grab it or you're gonna break this cover off. Okay, remember the finger, the good finger, I guess. All right, and then a the, um, little bit of uh, storage underneath there. Above the glove box, you've got a little more storage. And then the glove box itself. Hey, I'm gonna get to this here in a second. All right, and then uh, you have a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red bro flare hanging out. Then this is the uh, space I have on my side. Uh, the seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. I'm pretty comfortable right where I am, or I could slide this up an inch too, which I don't think is necessary after I show you the back. Uh, and then it does have an uh, armrest here and a compartment for your sunglasses. All right, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see they pass the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Go all the way back. I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, which is normally up here, but I had to copy this one because I didn't find this one. Okay. So, I'd like to show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. And some dealers will try to discredit this auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. It was graded 4 from the auction with a B&B &B on the exterior interior. 
Uh, the highest are A's, so this is a really good grade, very clean car that's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. So let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. So this one does have a little tab here. When you pull up on this tab, it's going to give you a, a little compartment for storage underneath there. Okay? So if you're going to the beach or uh, the store, you want to keep some of your personal effects there, you go ahead and do that. You push that down. Make sure if you do, you want to put that inside so no, nobody can see that you have that there. Obviously, people that are watching this video are going to know that. But uh, then you have a grocery bag hook. You can uh, hide that away. It's up to three kilograms, which is about six and a half pounds. Okay? Uh, what else do I want to show you? Let's open the door here. AC really cranks. Really nice. All right, uh, you do have a cup holder here, and then this is for your fog lights, and it does have dual power sliding doors. So if you uh, kids or somebody's playing with them too much, you can turn that off, okay? But basically, you're just going to hold that down, and that's going to hold uh, hear the beep, and then th that's going to open it up, all right? And then you have a compartment here for some coins or whatnot. Down here, you do have your hood release, and then please don't forget you have your gas cover release right here as well. On the door panel, you have your uh, mirror, window, and door lock controls all right here. So to turn it off, your foot does not have to be on a brake. You're just going to push this one time, and it goes. I'm going to leave this up here so I remember to take this out. I think that's it. So, so I said I wouldn't uh, have to slide my uh, seat forward because look at this. Look at how much space there is back here. Right. Look at how much space. Okay. Now, there is a bar here that if you slide it forward, I'm going to be about an inch away from the back seat. And I do, do have this reclined a little bit more. But I'm about an inch away from the back seat to my knee. But you put it all the way back. I'm good five, six inches, okay? And then nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And then you do have a cup holder on each uh, side here. And then no storage on the slotting doors. Um, what else am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting something, but... All right, so I'm going to put this one up front. Get my finger out of the way. I'm going to slide this up front because I want to show you uh, what it's going to be like if you put these seats down. Just remember this space and this space, okay? Okay, so let's go on in the back here. All you can do is pull that out, you listen to, uh, for the beep, and then it's going to close on its own. All right, so here's your space. So obviously when you have the seat forward, you're going to have more space back here. If you have it back, it uh, decreases. But the more important thing is when you put these seats down by pulling up on those levers, this is going to go flat. Okay, now that takes up most of that space right there. So if you if things fall, you're not going to have a gigantic gap over there. So just to show you with a comparison. So you see how how much space there is compared whether you have it uh, slid all the way back or all the way forward. All right, and there is a little bit of storage I forgot to show you underneath the cup holder. Let's go on back. Let's go to the uh, front here. We're going to show you the engine compartment. I'm going to wrap this video up. And real quick, I showed you on the other one, these condensate. It's got to be the seal that maybe uh, dry rots a little bit and uh, moisture gets in there. So uh, a lot of solios do that. And if they don't, they're going to. And here you have your um, uh, engine compartment, which will be cleaned. It looks like I think they forgot to just put uh, uh, clean it up a little bit more. But it's fairly clean anyway. All right. So there you have it. 2011 Suzuki Solio. Let me see if I get this right. 92,000 kilometers on it, which is about 57,000 miles. Did I get that right? Yes, I did. All right. Military prices on a 5,200. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,000 flat. Again, while you're here, please ask the information you got about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, um, the 5,000 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. The only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. That's whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you. And we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. So we do recommend or do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have. Check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars Let us show we have, what our program is all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best of Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Uh, don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% finance for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. 
Please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.